Hello everybody, Cody here, Visual Studio for Mac Program Manager at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with Visual Studio for Mac, from downloading, installation, and first run. Let's get started. First, I'm going to search Visual Studio for Mac from Bing. This will take me to the visualstudio.com download page. To start, click on the download button. and let the download complete. Now that's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and mount the drive and open the installer. I'll navigate to my installation directory, mount the drive, and once this is verified, I'll double click on the installation executable and get started. Now that we've opened the installer, we can choose what we want to install. The great thing about Visual Studio for Mac is that you can install exactly what you need and nothing that you don't. So you can choose here what kind of workload you want to install from .NET Core, Android, iOS, macOS apps, or extra tools like Xamarin Workbooks. Furthermore, within each of these projects, you may have optional components, such as the OpenJDK Mobile SDK and the Android SDK. Both of these are optional components that would be helpful in an Android development environment. If you aren't going to do Android development, no need to install it. Just uncheck it here, and away you go. Otherwise, Check everything, and let's continue. While you're waiting for the installation to finish, feel free to click on some of the links in the carousel. These include helpful tips and tricks on getting started with Visual Studio for Mac, including tips on Unity and .NET Core. If your installation included Xamarin components or any other components that require Xcode, you may be requested to install it. To do this, click Xcode to open the Mac App Store. Otherwise, go ahead and click Continue. Now, Visual Studio for Mac will launch. Now that the installation is finished, let's go ahead and get logged in. This is the best way to start your Visual Studio for Mac experience. It gives you access not only to Azure Publishing, but also other benefits of your Microsoft account. To do this, click on Sign In. Here, you'll be asked to sign in with your Microsoft account. I'll go ahead and sign in now. Now that we're signed in, let's go ahead and make our first project. To do that, let's close the sign in window and click the new project button. This gives you a list of all the different projects that are supported. To get started, let's just make a quick .NET Core app. To do this, I clicked on app under .NET Core and now I'm going to select a console application. I can choose between C Sharp and F Sharp. Let's do a C Sharp console application. Clicking next will give me the opportunity to name my project. Once I've named it, I can choose the location and also choose whether or not to initialize version control. Once I click Create, my project will be created. From here, I can go ahead and make my first project. In this video, I showed you how to install Visual Studio for Mac, get signed in, and create your first project. I hope you've enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for more videos in our series. Thank you.